Hello and welcome to another update video about um, Ethereum. So Ethereum is currently still following the count here. Um, you will remember from the previous video that we talked about this um, proportionality target for waves A and C of this wave two correction. We came down to that level and we reacted to it, um, which was here at 1862. So that's great. I mean, that is one of the common targets for a C wave target reached. But I cannot rule out further decline because so far there is no strong sign that um, the C wave is over. We haven't broken above the descending trend channel. Um, I highlighted to you in the previous video that as long as we're following the channel, obviously there is no breakout and that the local downtrend is going to continue. Basically the pullback. I view this currently as a pullback in a larger uptrend. Looks like we've done the wave A, we've done the wave B and the C wave might get one more low. I cannot rule out another dip into the 61.8 uh, retracement area, the golden ratio at 1832. Uh, uh, below that level, I have 1802. Um, below that level, this yellow one, two setup will get in, you know, we will have to question that really. Ideally for continuation of this direct breakout, we're holding 1802 because below that level, it's starting to look a bit corrective here to the upside. Then we might be talking about a B wave top get a deeper retracement, um, but we take it level by level here. I mean, Ethereum is currently one of the, let's say, stronger looking coins. Certainly um, it um, has broken out. It still is above the March highs. Yeah, So maybe what we're doing here at the moment is just retesting this previous resistance. And it's a bit of a range. It's not like one price point. Uh, we've got a bit of a range here um, between 1860 and 1850 roughly or even 1830 that we're currently retesting um, so yeah i mean a, a drop down to the golden ratio in my opinion would not break this support um, especially as this is local fib support still and as long as we're holding 1802 my focus remains on higher here in this immediate breakout setup below the 1802 level as i said in previous videos we can go into the larger pattern, larger degree pattern. We then have a chance to drop down to 1717. As long as we're holding that, I can still look at this as um, a wave two in blue. So we might just reset that with a high B wave. There are possibilities of doing so. Um, and below 1717, yeah, this is where we could drop quite a bit lower all the way down to possibly 1472. I mean, this would be then the next support area and um, that means that failing here or losing micro support would not really be bearish it would just short term um, lead to a price drop into deeper support areas yeah and um, from there we could then try to move higher so my assumption at the moment is that as long as we're holding 1802 direct breakout if we lose 1802 likely that we see a reaction to this support area and could rally from there below that level attempt from there. But they are all pullback areas in a larger uptrend. Yeah, so um, it's it's certainly interesting. I'm not sure how much movement we're gonna see over the weekend here, over the holidays. Um, tomorrow is the stock market is closed tomorrow. So yeah, we might see just a slow grind and um, further continuation, but without really any progress in the chart which is a shame because the whole week was a bit boring um, didn't really see much movement. Yes, Ethereum broke out. I think that's interesting. But besides that, not too much has happened. And um, yeah, I think for now we have to focus further on lower unless we see a breakout of the descending price channel. And if we get a breakout, then we will have first resistance at around 19, yeah, 1940, this wave one high, but could then eventually rally higher in this third wave but i can't really give you a target yet because it depends on how low we go in this wave too but so far that a to c target worked out but yeah the, we have seen a reaction but it has just not been strong enough so i think at the moment we just need to be prepared for further downside but at some point here we expect a reversal to the upside um, as long as we're holding above 1802 yeah, that's my update about Ethereum. I hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.